So a new trailer called Dream has been released to advertise the ticket sales for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And boy oh boy, there are some new shots and dialogue that will blow your mind. So without any further delays, let's get right into the breakdown. The trailer starts off with Doctor Strange in front of a different sanctum which is crumbling away just like in the What If Episode 4. We've seen this in previous trailers already so the thing about this shot is that the location where Sinister Strange or Evil Doctor Strange is at has the same color grading. It could be the stairs that lead up to him or it could just be the stairs leading him up into the shot where we see the city crumbling and fading away just like the What If Episode 4 also and they all have the same color grading that sort of light blue faded kind of color and that stairs they take him into the city that is falling apart and that's where he goes and sees the sanctum in this universe and goes up and meets the other Doctor Strange. Anyway, the scene opens up and we hear Doctor Strange and Wanda saying, I've been dreaming every night. The same, same dream. Every morning, the same nightmare. Okay, now there's a shot of Doctor Strange with a cough on each hand, waking up, which indicates from the previous trailers that he's already been captured by the Illuminati with America Chavez. And there's a follow up shot of him attending Christine Palmer's wedding, and it's where Gargantus attacks the city and he has to rush out and save it, and where he also meets America Chavez. The next shot is a dark grey cloud of smoke starting to cover Kamataj and with the recent TV spots and leaks and screen tests which I have on my channel, Wanda is attacking this place to get to America Chavez and there's going to be a real massacre. From the leak also, this cloud is going to be red instead and the TV spot that was released I think this week pretty much confirmed that it is Wanda that is attacking from the air. The next shot is of Wanda and the kids in their Wanda Vision home where she's holding them but the next shot exits quickly and we see Wanda holding nothing. She's in the exact location where we see in previous trailers and from evidence it's Kamataj after she finished taking care of the wizards. This could also be the nightmare she's talking about where she sees her kids only for them to disappear over and over again. You can just imagine the pain. Another possible theory is that she's actually projecting herself into a different reality where her kids are still alive but she's not strong enough to maintain that connection or stay there for a long period of time. That's why she needs America Chavez's power to break through different realities. But remember, if her kids are there, it means there's also another Wanda, which may be the one we saw in the previous trailer. But the shot could also be her mind palace, where she has to kill the hero in her in order to do what needs to be done to get her children back. The trailer continues to the next shot, where we see Wanda with a tear dropping down her cheek, talking to someone. This is most likely Doctor Strange, where she's explaining her intentions and her pain to let him understand why she's doing what she's doing. The next shot of the trailer is of Doctor Strange opening a hatch door into a dimension of some sort of a destroyed citadel. But notice that this time there's no Christine Palmer who was shown to be beside them in the previous trailers. Is either this scene in particular is fake and she's not there or she's there and they want us to believe that she's not there. Like Kevin Feige knows and likes to trick us to believe things in trailers only to fake us out when the movie comes out. Somewhere over there. That's always the truth. Anyway, Christine Palmer is going to play a very important role in this movie, not our MCU one, but a variant version of her. But in this scene, we see a book which is likely to be the book of Vishanti in the middle of the ruins. When it comes to Doctor Strange, this book is as important or even more important than his cloak of levitation. About 80 to 90 percent of his power is drawn from this book, but in the MCU, this is probably the first time he's seen this. Meaning, if he's to tap into this power, he's going to be at least three times more powerful than he is currently, and that's going to be insane. But it's going to be needed considering the openness that he's facing in this film. The next shot is of him fighting Gargantos in the streets, protecting America Chavez in the process. This creature is sent by Wanda to capture her. We then get a shot of Wong manifesting some weapons ready to fight with a creature standing behind him which looks like Carthorn in the comics. However, I don't think they are going to show such a big character like this in just a few seconds in the trailer. For those who don't know, Carthorn is the creator of the Darkhold. 
the short pans over to wanda which if you look closely at the right button you can see that the same monster is also standing there in the same location with carvings on the wall which looks like a page from the dark code showed in wanda vision this is the exact same location we see america chavez attacking someone or something in the previous trailer I don't think Wong is in this shot and it's pretty much confirmed that Wanda is going to be a villain in this movie and it wouldn't make sense for Wong to fight beside her unless there's going to be a turning point in the movie where she turns good again and she's helping them or she's controlling him. Either way, Kevin Feige is at it again trying to fake us. Doctor Strange comes out of a building in the next shot. We don't see the cloak with him, which means that the cloak is probably helping people or fighting the enemy. This is the same shot as Gargantos who is attacking the city. We then cut to Christine Palmer's variant in the room where everyone is panicking and running around with America Chavez in prison. This is the Illuminati headquarters where she and Doctor Strange will be held and I think Wanda is attacking the police to get her as evidence from previous trailers. The next shot is of Doctor Strange and America traveling to different universes and from what Doctor Strange said in Spider-Man No Way Home. The, the multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. He's not the one navigating this whole journey as America is the one with the ability to hop through universes as evidence from the star-shaped portals which is shown in the previous trailers. We see a bloodied wonder in a quick shot. Some are saying it's zombie Wanda, which could be, but we know that there's going to be different variants of our heroes and characters, but this scene in particular also looks like the blooded Wanda we see in this shot in the previous trailer. And with how the scene is lighted, it's all just confusing. We know there's going to be a zombie strange, so this could also be zombie Wanda, but let's just wait till the movie comes out. We now see a variant model fighting Strange who he blames for destroying the multiverse. I mean, it's kind of true with how, you know, things have been going, but he's only a part of it. We know he's going to be part of the Illuminati with a shot of him walking to take his seat with a sword at his back as we saw in the previous trailer. We now get a new shot of Sinister Strange with an eye in the middle of his forehead, which is the eye of Agamotto. In the MCU, the Eye of Agamotto was the resting place of the Time Stone, but in the comics, that amulet contained the Eye of Agamotto and whenever he uses it, it brings forth his third eye and the main function is allowing him to see through illusions and break them, which from trailers that we've seen of this movie is going to play a big factor, illusions, dream, nightmare, what is real, what is fake, that is what this trailer is even about, dreams. Sinister Strange may be trying to show our Doctor Strange what is really happening, who is manipulating Wanda and the breaking of the multiverse. In the first Doctor Strange movie, this is also where the Asian one touched on before sending Strange through different realities. Open your eyes. The universe is all there is. Some benevolent and life-giving. We then get a quick cut of Doctor Strange attacking Sinister Strange and it looks like we will be getting a live action version of what we got in What If Episode 4. The next shot we see someone blasted in a chaotic explosion. From this shot, I think it's during the fight with Wanda in the previous trailer. And we also get a quick cut of Zombie Strange which from the test screening on my channel, Doctor Strange is going to possess the body of Defender Strange who is going to be killed by the monster who captures America Chavez. From evidence, we see the same scars across his face in the second trailer and some on Zombie Strange. We then get a quick shot of a variant Captain Marvel. And guys, please, this is definitely not Superior Iron Man who's going to be played by Tom Cruise. I do believe he is in the movie from leaks, rumors, test screenings. But just look at the figure of this character. Look at the blue glue around her hands just like Captain Marvel when she's about to attack with her power, a photon blast. And that's clearly Maria Rainbow who is going to be Captain Marvel in that universe and part of the Illuminati. Next shots are of Wong who looks like he's in the same location as Zombie Strange and hanging on a cliff and a shot of Doctor Strange firing dragons on an opponent similar to what he did in the What If series. Now that's it for the video. This movie in all honesty is going to blow our minds with the story, the action set pieces, the cameos. It's going to redefine the MCU going forward. We have the full runtime now released and it's going to be 2 hours 6 minutes in case you were wondering. <laughs> I got you there. Although I thought the movie would be longer, you know, considering the scope of what they are trying to achieve, the movie in general, but I trust Kevin Feige. 
do let me know in the comments below how excited or hyped are you for the movie how many cameos do you think are going to be in who do you think is going to pop up in this movie and if you liked it and enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe and turn on our post notifications to stay up to date with future videos as always nerdy sage here see you in the next video